So when the Spade Boutique and Spa opens its doors in Kailicha next month, it will make history as the first luxury establishment of its kind in a South African township. Owned by a husband and wife team with strong roots in the community, the four-star hotel is expected to expose guests to the cultural diversity of the Cape Town township. It boasts scenic backdrops that include Table Mountain and the Cape Winelands. For more on the, what the hotel has to offer, we're joined now by CEO and co-founder Annette Scarp. Annette, thanks very much for talking to us this morning on a good news story on this Friday morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Michelle. Thank you for having me. So exciting times. Tell us more about uh, when the hotel will be opening, and then we'll have a discussion around how you got to this place becoming a hotelier. Okay, the hotel, we're launching on the 1st of December, mm -hmm. um, but we will open to um, the public on the 7th of December, which is a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And um, while my, the project, my business venture started actually when I, I mean, I was in the aviation industry for 10 years, and um, while I was in the aviation industry, I've traveled to um, countries such as um, Mozambique, Botswana, and Namibia. I've also traveled to places like Bali, um, Singapore, Mauritius, and Dubai with my husband for leisure. That was for leisure. Mm. It has ignited the vision of um, opening my own um, hotel in the township. Mm. And I'm sure you're wondering why in the township, you know. Um, township is home. Kailicha is home. I grew up um, in the township. And I wanted to bring what I've seen out there, the experience that I've, what I've experienced. I wanted, I wanted to bring it into the township. And, um, and yeah, and for people to feel, you know, what I've experienced as well. And I wanted to put um, Kailicha on the, ma on the map. Mm. I wanted to put Kailicha on the map. I wanted um, to change the narrative as well that nothing good can come out of the township. Mm. Mm. So, so, Annette, that's quite a, a, a jump, is it? Well, in my mind, anyway, you'll correct me if I'm wrong. But from the aviation industry into hospitality, mm. how, you know, mm. how, how do you make that move and has it been, has it been a difficult one? From the aviation industry, no, no, because, um, you know, after 10 years being in the aviation industry, um, seven years ago, let me start there, seven years ago, um, I decided that I want to, to own my business, you know, and become an entrepreneur. Our apologies there. We seem to be struggling with our connection to uh, Annette Scarp. She's the CEO and co-founder of the Spade Boutique and Spa, which will be opening its doors in Kailicha next month. Uh, she's telling us that Kailicha is home for us. She's doing this in part to change the narrative around uh, the township, being that nothing good can come from areas like Kailicha. So the uh, hotel is set to open on the 1st of December. I'm hoping that we can re-establish that connection with Annette Scarp and continue that discussion with her. And she is back. All right, great. Control telling us that we've got her back on the line. Annette, apologies for that interruption. Seem to have some uh, technical issues with our connection there to you. But you were telling us about this transition from aviation um, to the hospitality industry. And it began some years ago when you decided to be an entrepreneur. Exactly, yes. I saw um, a gap in the market because people were coming into Kailicha, people were interested um, in, in Kailicha, showing interest in Kailicha. So I saw a gap and I decided why not um, seize the opportunity by developing rental uh, properties for a safe and secure accommodation. Mm -hmm. So Michelle, I didn't just jump from being um, a flight attendant into just being a hotelier. Um, I work. I do have businesses, you know, I already own like a string of um, rental flats. Mm, mm. Uh, and, and the name Spade Boutique, Annette, where does that come from? It comes from um, Kwaes. 
Kwaes um, has a logo of a spade, mm. you know. So we thought, why not um, preserve the brand, you know, and use the spade as the name of the hotel, you know. So it comes from Kwaes, uh, the logo of Kwaes, the spade, wow. spade boutique hotel. So tell our viewers, tell our viewers more. You know, you're saying you're opening on the 1st of December. It's the first four-star luxury hotel um, in a township. Tell us more about the sweets, the cuisine, what people can expect. Okay, it's actually on the 1st. The launch is on the 1st of, um, of, of December and mm -hmm. then opening to the public on the 7th. Right. But um, the hotel is fitted with 13 um, suites which consists of two executive um, suites, four luxury um, suites, um, three two-bedroom suites, and four um, standard suites. Some of our suites will have um, a, a kitchenette mm -hmm. with um, a fully equipped kitchenette with um, a fully stocked bar, uh, bar fridge um, uh, beverages. We'll have unlimited Wi-Fi, ensuite bathroom, um, air conditioning systems. We'll have um, uh, remote control smart TV. Um, and the hotel will have a spa. We'll have an in-house gym. Mm -hmm. um, that's an added advantage um, for our guests to enjoy. A spa, in-house gym, um, a heated pool, um, an events room and a conference, conference room. And the cuisine, Annette, which I'm sure people will be, will be wondering about. Okay. Um, our cuisine will be serving African and French um, dishes um, with um, unique taste and texture. That's the plan. But it will be mostly um, African cuisine. Um, we will have Sometimes we'll serve it in a very style or a la cacha. Well, that sounds absolutely wonderful. And uh, are people, you're saying it's launching on the 1st, it's open to the public on the 7th. Are people able to go online and book now? Um, not yet. Not yet. Uh, it's launching on the 1st. On the <laughs> it's launching on the 1st, not on the 1st. But uh, not yet. The website is still under construction, so they can't book not yet. We'll announce it as soon as um, the website is opened. All right. Well, we wish you all the very best. Annette Scarp joining us there. She's the CEO and co-founder of Spade Boutique and Spa, said to be open to the public in early December.